Solving linear systems using elimination can be a little less intuitive than solving using substitution, but it can actually be quite a bit more efficient under the right circumstances. Let me show you how it works. If we have one apple plus one banana, and that costs $1.25, and then one apple and two bananas cost $2, how much does one banana cost or one apple? So first let's write down our equations. We know that one apple and one banana costs a buck and a quarter. So one apple plus one banana is a dollar twenty-five. Then one apple and two bananas cost two dollars. So what we need to do to make this work is set one of our variables opposite itself in the other equation. Now here I have one B and two Bs or one A and one A. So the A's are very nearly opposite already. So let's use that one. And what we need to do to make them opposite is to make one of them negative. So let's make the bottom one negative, and to do that I have to multiply everything by negative one. So this also becomes negative, and this also becomes negative. Now I have negative a plus negative two b equals negative two, and now my a's are opposite each other. Now the trick we're going to use is the the trick that allows us to add the same thing to both sides. Now you've seen that before like this. If I had say x minus 3 equals 6 and I wanted to solve this equation I'd add 3 to both sides and then the 3's would cancel and I'd get x equals 9 and I can do that because the original statement just said that x minus 3 is equal to or is the same thing as 6 then if I add 3 to both sides what I'm really saying is that x minus 3 plus 3 is the same thing as 6 plus 3 and if this was true, then this would also be true, because if I add the same thing to both sides of a balance beam, it's going to stay balanced. So we're going to use that same thing over here. If I take a plus b, and I say that a plus b is the same thing as one and a quarter, then I should be able to add a plus b to one side of another equality statement, and one and a quarter to the other side of the same statement, without changing the value of these two things being equal. I'm adding the same thing to both sides. If I add a plus negative a, I get zero. If I add b plus negative two b, I get negative b. And if I add one and a quarter to negative two, I get negative three quarters. Now I have, divide everything by negative one, b equals 0.75. So we know that b is 0.75, and then we can take that value and plug it back into one of our other equations. We'll use the top one because it'll be easier. A plus 0.75 equals 1.25. Subtract 0.75 from both sides. Minus 0.75. That cancels and I get A equals 0.5. So that means that the apples are 50 cents and the bananas are 75 cents. And we can check that really quickly by adding them together. One apple and one banana is $1.25, which is what we had listed. And then one apple for 50 cents and two bananas, which would be $1.50, adds up to be $2, which is the other statement we had. So those two values are correct.